The Wa West constituency was carved out of the Wa Central constituency in 2004. The constituency has a population of more than 100,000, with a total of 238 communities, making it the second largest after Wa Central among the 11 constituencies of the Upper West region. Some of the communities in the area include Dorimon, La Setuolu, Vieri, Tanvare, Ga, Bache, and Wichauda district capital. Agric is the mainstay of the constituents, engaging over 90% of the residents. The constituency is the host of the famous Wichau Hippo Sanctuary, one of the most patronized tourist sites in the Upper West region. Since its creation in 2004, the main opposition National Democratic Congress has been winning in the Wild West constituency with Joseph Yelichire as the Member of Parliament. Mr. Yelichire first won the seat with over 13,000 votes, beating his closest contender, Edward Yirimombo of the NPP, who could only manage a little over 6,000 votes. In the 2008 parliamentary elections, Mr. Yelichire had over 10,000 votes, beating Edward Yirimambo who contested as an independent candidate after losing the MPP parliamentary primaries to his former campaign coordinator, Daniel Dari Kunsogno. The Wa West legislator consolidated his vote margin in the 2012 elections with over 16,000 votes, beating the MPP's Adam Timbile who got 9,918 votes. Mr. Yelchire won the seat again with 12,000, 858 votes in the 2016 parliamentary elections. Farouk Bandana, who contested as an independent candidate, had close to 9,000 votes, while Daniel Dari of the NPP also got a little over 7,000 in his second attempt. As the country gears towards the December polls, some residents in the Wild West constituency are worried that the area has been neglected by successive governments. The road leading um, which are all through to Dormo to Wa is not in good shape, and also um, from which are all last year through to Wa is not also in good shape. And also with regards to our security, because on several occasions we have had some um, issues with regards to uh, our security, arm robbery and all that stuff going on within the district. We have a certain community closer to which are here, Pamfa and then the uh, Kantu. When it rains, teacher can, teachers cannot go to school because the road will be flooded. Then you can't cross the water there. And the health aspect too, there are some communities which we need to build cheap compounds for them to get the face it before coming to the desert hospital or whether to the original hospital. But we are lacking those things. First of all, we don't have clinic. Secondly, we don't have road in this our community. Thirdly, like this, for instance, if we sick, even plastamol, we can't get them unless you go to Dormo or Wa. So if they can help us about the health security, the, the clinic or uh, clinic, if they can help us for clinic, we would like that. It appears the concerns of these residents resonated well with delegates of the NDC in the Wa West constituency who decided to reject the incumbent member of parliament, Joseph Yelichire, in their last parliamentary primaries. He lost his fourth term bid to a former secretary to the IGP, Peter Lanchene Tuobu. When I came around, I think I went around the constituency and I, I put together a very simple project that we, we called JJ Screw H. JJ Screw H is a simple acronym for what I intend to do for the people of Wild West come 2021 to 2024 with His Excellency President John Dramani Mahama. We are talking about jobs. We want to create jobs for the youth. We are talking about justice. I want to ensure, you know, with my background, the criminal justice system must work well in my constituency. People must enjoy the fairness of the system. And I want to ensure that schooling is something that we have to take very serious notice of. Education is very crucial. Many of our schools are really gone dead. You find children on the floor writing. You find teachers not really happy to be in the classroom. And I think that we need to do something about our education system. I'm also looking at the roads. We had a year of road by the MPP, and I think that is, it, it was just a jargon or a slogan. There's nothing that has happened for the, for the 2020 period. And I'm sure uh, they will try to blame it on, on, on COVID, but they never even started for COVID to stop it. So I'm talking about roads. I'm also talking about the fact that 
in this era. Sometimes I get to a community and I'm so sad that you still find people in this age, 63 years after independence, still sharing a source of water with animals. I think it's disgusting, it's unacceptable. We'll try as much as possible to reduce this burden on the people. The MPP's Daniel Derry, who is contesting the Wild West seat for the third time, however, says Peter Lanchene is not known in the area, a reason he will be defeated. The candidate that they are bringing is a weaker candidate as compared to the previous candidates that are used to contest with. He's not known. He's only using the popularity of his party symbol with my people. And for this time round, it's not about the symbol. It's about who can do the work. And he doesn't have any single example. He claims, he says he's a son of, of, of this district. Nobody can contest that. But nobody knows him until he came and contested for the primaries and won. Have you seen? So for, for somebody to say that uh, he's, he's, he doesn't have a footprint. Mr. Daniel Dari believes his experience as a two-time parliamentary candidate coupled with the development he brought to the constituency as the first DCE, makes him the most preferred in this year's parliamentary elections. The people initially, initially didn't understand me, but I think this year, if you actually follow me on the ground, you get to know that the people are actually testifying. They have seen that during my tenure as a DCE, I did a lot of work for the constituency. But initially, uh, due to one or two reasons best known to them, uh, they were not actually coming forth. But this time around, they have seen that, yes, uh, the footprints that are left since 2008 in most communities are still the only footprints that you can, can be seen. But for the arrival of uh, MPP, there wasn't any... Uh, developmental projects in those communities like in most communities that are most of the schools that you see in Wild West currently we even initiated them the NDC's Peter Lanchini however says he is confident of retaining the Wild West seat for the party because of his track record and the good policies he has in place to change the narrative in the constituency I was born and bred in Poyentara and if you travel all the way from Dabot to Poyentanga, you will be told that you are not known. If you travel all the way from Dodoma to Poyentanga, you will be told that you are a stranger. In the same way, if I move from Poyentanga uh, to Wichao or I move from Poyentanga to uh, Kunchleji, they'll be looking at me as a stranger. But you know what? You get known when it is necessary for you to be known. I've come to contest for the member of parliament for position, and that is the time that I have to tour the whole constituency. So, of course, a few people are seeing me for the first time. But many people have crisscrossed me in the world. They realize that this is a material that they can trust. Apart from the fact that he became DC many years ago, what has he done again? And what has the MPP done for him again? Peter Lanchene Tobu is coming with a new strategy. According to the Ghana Statistical Service, the Wild West is the poorest in the Upper West region, with more than 65% of the residents living below the poverty line. Some of the challenges facing the residents include Inadequate health facilities, lack of portable water and bad roads. Will the NDC maintain its dominance in the area or the story will be changed after the December general election? We are not just voting on parliamentary because maybe this person is my brother, this person is my relative or I attend the same church with the fellow. But we are looking at who is well exposed enough to be able to go and represent the interests and people of our West very well in Parliament. If you look at that, and maybe who is also having the experience in terms of Ghana here, to be able to go into any public office to be able to lobby for development for the people of our West. I'm going to vote based on one policy, that is a free senior high. Some people um, with intelligence, some people with knowledge couldn't make it. Um, with their education, but I think uh, with free education we have um, a lot of people enjoying it. We have people who couldn't even afford education um, drop out of school because of um, monies and uh, school fees and that stuff. But we've had it now, people um, even with poor backgrounds are able to make it to school because of free education.